I needed to speak to an expert, so I went to the University of California, Berkeley. Dr. Bruce Ames is a professor of biochemistry and molecular biology. Because of his research on the causes of cancer, Dr. Ames has won many awards, including the National Medal of Science, the Japan Prize, and a Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement. He is one of the most cited scientists in the world. This is the Gasland, the film by Josh Fox, and this is what he says about chemicals and fracking and, and public health, I suppose. In order to frack, you need some fracking fluid, a mix of over 596 chemicals, from the unpronounceable to the unknown to the too well known. The brew is full of corrosion inhibitors, gelants, drilling additives, biocides, shale control inhibitors, liquid breaker aids, viscosifiers, liquid gel concentrates. On the side of that frac fluid truck, it should say, just add water. Well, that's, you could say that about a cup of coffee with more justification. I mean, it doesn't tell you much. What would you say to people who saw Gasland and are scared by that figure of over 500 chemicals and, 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 the, and the scary names of the chemicals. Yeah, but it's only scary if you don't know anything. If I gave you all the long names of chemicals in cabbage that give cancer to rats in high levels, you could get scared. But there's really no danger in eating cabbage. But at least there's no carcinogens in broccoli. Oh, yeah, the carcinogen in broccoli. No. Yeah. No. It, broccoli's good for you, but there are carcinogens there. That, see, they define carcinogen as giving the maximum tolerated dose to a mouse or a rat and feeding it every day a lifetime. And half the chemicals they've ever tested, whether it's natural or synthetic, no difference, give cancer to the animals at this huge dose. But it doesn't mean it's going to give cancer at a low dose, and it's all a high-dose artifact. What do you mean high-dose artifact? What does that mean? It means it's the high dose that's causing it, and they're scaring you about a low dose. But scare stories sell newspapers. The media loves scare stories. Uh, every time I see a story about a, some new scare that's going to give cancer to people, it's always completely implausible. It's a minor hypothetical risk at best. If people say fracking is causing cancer, then they don't know what they're talking about.